I have to confess, Billy Clyde, I was hesitant at first. We've never published any sports books, and Nobel Prize winners are more our line. That's six of them, you know. We're an old house. I guess you could say distinguished. Great grandfather started the firm right after the Civil War with the help of Oliver Wendell Holmes. Who did he play for? Boston. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yes. But Barbara Jane convinced me a book by you would be different. Now, look at football no one's ever seen. Yeah, you know, the truth, I mean, nobody's told the truth about it. But no sensationalism. Nothing that cheap. I mean, we're not that kind of house. We want the real truth, Billy Clyde, like what drugs the players take, uh, how games are really fixed, the influence of the mafia. You mean the real, real truth? Exactly. Now, we know that there are gay football players, but who do they like to do it with? And are there more homosexuals on the offense or are on the defense? Defense. Really? You're allowed to use your hands on defense. It gives you a better chance to group somebody. This is exactly what we're looking for. You were right about him, Barbara Jane. I know. How about spooks and specs? Oh, no, no. I, I think the reading public's bored with that by now. Orgies? Oh, within the bounds of good taste. What, what kind of orgies? What kind of orgies you want? We got your post-game orgies, your pre-game orgies. You mean before a game? Sure. That's how it gets so loose. How do you think we beat Baltimore the other night? And like an orgy to loosen you up. Now, you take old Shake here. He's just about all orgied out, ain't you, Shake? No question about it. No question about it. And Barbara Jane, she just loves him. <laughs> Shut up. You never missed one yet. <laughs> what about your fish costume? <laughs> OK, fellas. OK. I know what I'm being put on. I know what you think of a man like me, an intellectual. I'm sure when you divide the world up, you put jocks on one side and everybody else on the other. Well, let me tell you something. Intellectuals are the jocks of the mind. The life of the intellect is just as tough as the life of the body. You have to be just as mean with an idea as you do with a football. You love football? Great. I love words, books, ideas. And I know that a well-turned phrase is just as valuable, just as beautiful, and just as important as a well-thrown pass. Well, I think I owe you an apology. We just got up on the wrong foot, that's all. You are wrong about one thing, though. We don't love football that much. You don't? We just like taking showers with niggers. <laughs>